Okay, we got another Timu bag. Let's see what's in there. Okay, I kind of threw everything on the bed. But these I showed you last time. They're like 12-something. I got a beige pair. I got another one because they're the most comfortable things ever. And I wear them all the time. I go right from my kitchen outside with them. Don't care. They're the best. And you don't need socks with them to keep your feet warm. They're the best. I highly recommend them. Then, guys, I got these jeans the last time. I showed them to you. They were actually on sale $14.47. Last time they were $16.27. But they were the most comfortable jeans. They fit me so nicely. I got more compliments than ever, so I got another pair. <laughs> and then, guys, this is a scarf, supposedly. <laughs> You can wear it on either side, the gray or this, but it's kind of like a shawl. You see it has, yeah. so it's kind of like a shawl and it has a clip and I'm just going to find the other side, close it and show you. So after playing with it for a very long while, I kind of got it the way I like it um, because the way it clips, um, doesn't make it look any kind of way they had it look so I kind of like it if we put it under like a roll um, but you can probably do a hundred different ways I'm just not really good with these kind of things <laughs> um, but it is really warm I love that it's super soft on one side and really um, fuzzy on the other so you can wear it on either side so it is pretty cool that way so I like it but I'm glad I didn't get two. Now, literally, the rest of the clothes are four of these jumpsuits because I got one and I totally am in love with it. And I said, well, that's what I'm going to wear all winter long. <laughs> so it is literally like a jogging jumpsuit. So it's basically like if you had a sweatpants and a sweat jacket, but all attached to one jumpsuit. It is so comfortable, so warm, so flattering. Love, 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 $19.99. You can't go wrong. So I got four colors. Now I'm a happy camper. So that was it for the clothes part of it. So now it's all the little bits, which I will tell you is mostly probably um, some Legos. Because I realized... So I got a, a lot of little Lego pieces. What I realized was I went to the Lego store. This is a horse. <clears throat> to look for Lego pieces for my friend's kids and other stuff. And ooh, this is a whole big Lego set. One little man with a car from the Lego store, guys, is $9.99. This whole set, which is a wagon with like pumpkins, like a, for a hayride, was $5.99. Big difference. So, yeah, just little Lego sets. And then we have this box that's really taped up, so I have to open it for you guys. What's in the box? More Legos! It's an ice cream pop Lego. <laughs> Okay, but I realized it was a blind box for $1.99. And um, so you would get one of these supposed candy ones. And we just happened to get the ice cream cone. And so, yeah, but for $1.99, a blind box Legos, it's really quite good. Uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's put together. I don't know what's in here. Let's see. So in there was a Lego set. Look, they're french fries Legos. <laughs> So we will definitely try to make that. Then I got 
I make candle melts, guys. So I love the candle melts. So I got these for $1.99. They're a gingerbread men. <laughs> so I'm going to make my candle melts with that. These are mini gingerbread men um, and little um, candy canes. And this I'm going to think I'm going to like put melt the glue stick in there and then like paint them and make little pieces um these i'm gonna use when i make my candles i was putting real spoons in there but i think i'm gonna make wax um spoons too to go inside the candles and this is another one this is like um cinnamon cloves and stuff all for like I could put my candle in and this one's a whipped cream mold so I'm going to be making candles and you'll probably see it on my channel that uh, are in a coffee cup and I'm going to use that stuff and I'll show you how I use it it's a little teddy bear mold I saw it and I thought it was adorable you can use it as a mold so you can melt the wax in there and use it as a candle or you can put ice in there and make it an ice cube. You could do anything with these molds. Really good. Most of the molds, I have never spent more than $3 on one of the molds. Um, but, you know, just you got to shop around on Timu. I got my, one more mold. A little one. Those are teddy bears. That was another one I was thinking I'd make candle melts out of. But they look kind of small. That might be another thing for the glue stick and um, like to make like uh, our own little resin pieces, but not out of resin, out of glue, um, like we did with our gnome feet. So that's really good. So these are labels to put on bottles. They're really funny Christmas labels. This one says moon water. So they're labels to go on bottles or your vases or you could use these anywhere, guys, because they're stickers. And they're really cute. And I love those. I usually use them on my crafts. Oh, here's more of those, like, labels. So the next, I got this gnome because I was really interested to see how the legs were put together. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be an ornament, and it was on special for $2.98. And actually, that's not a bad price. She is pretty well put together, um, but I really just wanted to see how they made her legs. I was like, oh, um, I wonder if I can make legs, because the legs are really kind of cute. And then we got coffee for our gnomes. Presents for our gnomes to hold. The little candies to use for crafts, but they'll probably go on the gnomes too. <laughs> this was late, but it's all right. They have these cute little pieces. Now, 10 of these guys, I think were $2.10. Like, they're really nice. Um, so you can hang them on things. And I was thinking what I was going to try to do with these and these was to make, like, um the beaded garland. I was thinking, what a good idea to use these guys because they came so cheap for so many. And then look at this cute little pin I got from my coat, Jack Skeleton, holding a stuffed, like, um, oogie boogie. So cute. And then I got earrings. So these were 98 cents for the earrings. I'm going to probably take them apart and use them for crafts. But it's a Ouija board and a planchette. And then I got these for $0.98 cents also. They're also earrings. I don't wear earrings like this. I take them apart and I'll, I'll use them on my pendulums to hold my pendulums, like as a top, because I like something big on the top of my pendulums. Plus, they look really fun. I'll actually show you one of the pendulums I made with those. So see this guy? It's such a cool pendulum for Halloween. So yeah, I I use them like that, like to hold the pendulum. So yes, I use those for that. And last but not least is I found these also. And I make these witchy boxes. And I was putting paper ones in there, but these are so much nicer. 
they're like a hard like plastic kind of and they're they were six for 229 which is really good and they're double-sided you cannot go wrong with that guys so yeah that was my haul from timu mostly legos candle making stuff which i'm really excited to make now these um coffee candles with all this cool like whipped cream and spoons so yeah these guys like i said i think i paid a dollar 98 for the spoons I paid 99 cents for the little bear a dollar 99 for the gingerbread one so <clears throat> you can't go wrong if you use molds even if you use them for chocolate if you use them for ice cubes they're the best so yeah that was our timu haul thanks so much for watching <laughs> And we'll see you the next time, guys. What do you think? You like her feet? Should we use this style for one of ours? <laughs> they are cute. All right. We're out of here. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.